American comedian, rapper, television presenter, and actor, Nicholas Scott Cannon, was born in San Diego, California. However, he split his upbringing between there with his mother and grandmother and Charlotte, North Carolina with his father. His father would actually be the person to give Nick his first big break in entertainment. As a preteen, Nick secured a gig doing stand-up comedy on his local cable access program. The big break in his career would come in his teens on the Nickelodeon sketch comedy television series, All That. Also while in his teens, Nick delved into the music game as a member of rap group, the G4 Dope Bomb Squad. After breaking away from the group, he would eventually sign a solo record deal and to date, release two studio albums. It turned out that music would have to take a back seat since his acting and hosting career would take off in a tremendous way. Over the years, he would host numerous television shows such as The Nick Cannon Show, Wild and Out, America's Got Talent, and The Mass Singer. He also starred in the films Drumline, Love Don't Cost a Thing, and Roll Bounds. In some cases, no matter how much professional success a person has, he or she may also long for personal success as well. As Nick's career has ascended, so has his access to some of the most beautiful and accomplished women in Hollywood. Way back at the beginning of the millennium, singer-songwriter Nicole Scherzinger had a relationship with Nick during his All That days. Nicole, on the other hand, was a virtual unknown. Their short-lived intimate relationship seems to have ended amicably since they would begin a working relationship with each other many years down the line. Starting in 2019, they both began working together on reality singing competition television series, The Masked Singer, with Nicole as a panelist and Nick as the host. During the making of the teen comedy film, Love Don't Cost a Thing, Nick would meet a woman who would not only catch his eye, but capture his heart, actress and singer, Christina Milian. Years later, Christina would confirm that she was the one to end their more than two year relationship in 2005 after finding out about Nick's infidelity. She hacked into his phone and over the span of the next month, read every message. Time was on her side since she was working out of the country, so she chose to wait until she returned home to confront him. The betrayal stung even more since she considered Nick to be her first love, and he was living in her house, while presumably using the property to do his dirty work. At one point, Nick did apologize for his transgressions, then later did a 180, claiming that he didn't think he did anything wrong, since they were never officially together, and he actually wanted her to catch him. I don't think I did anything wrong. Because cheating is wrong. I wasn't cheating. You got to be in a relationship to cheat. If I'm careless enough to allow myself to get caught, that means I want it to be. Right. Let me ask you a question. Turn up the mic. Oh. The, the word is careless. You know what careless means? I could care less. Mm. The tables were then turned on Nick during his relationship with reality TV star and hugely successful businesswoman, Kim Kardashian. They met while Kim was working as Paris Hilton's assistant and before she shot to global fame with her family's TV show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Their romance of less than a year came to an end when Nick found out that Kim lied about the infamous sex tape she made with ex-boyfriend R&B singer Ray J. Years later, Kim would also use the we were never really a couple line when asked about Nick. At this point in Nick's life, he'd had many relationships and experiences with a variety of women. So maybe he had a much better idea of what he was and wasn't looking for, since soon after his relationship with Kim ended, he was engaged to someone else. Model Salida Ebanks and Nick became engaged in May 2007 after dating for just three months. Nick placed a huge diamond ring on her finger in the middle of Times Square in New York City with the help of a jumbotron. Five months after that, the engagement was called off. In subsequent interviews, Salida would completely downplay the whole thing, saying that even though she did wear a ring, she didn't think she was really engaged. Even though Nick and Salida didn't make it down the aisle, he and one of the most famous and successful recording artists in the world would. After knowing each other for several years on a platonic level, 
Nick would begin dating singer-songwriter-actress Mariah Carey. Six weeks later, they would become husband and wife. The couple married on April 30th, 2008, in a ceremony held at her private estate on Windermere Island in the Bahamas. Three years later, they welcomed fraternal twins, daughter Monroe and son Moroccan. Their divorce would be finalized in 2016 after a separation two years prior and a brief reconciliation in 2015. In her memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, that was released in September 2020, she revealed that she was so attracted to him because unlike her first husband, music executive Tommy Mottola, Nick was a quote, good guy. She also appreciated the fact that he was faith-based and ambitious. Mariah eventually confessed that their mutual desire for children was the main reason for their fast-track nuptials. Nick would become a father of three in February 2017 when his girlfriend, actress, dancer, model, and beauty pageant title holder, Brittany Bell, gave birth to a son. Nick and Brittany had begun dating back in 2014, pretty much the second he separated from Mariah. Also during that separation era between Nick and Mariah, model, actress, and TV personality Jessica White would enter the picture. Nick and Jessica would continue a complicated on-again, off-again relationship for approximately five years. Actually, many of Nick's relationships appear to go through an on-again, off-again period, and his relationship with Brittany was no exception. Her and Nick would eventually have a second child, a daughter in December 2020. To add insult to injury, Jessica later revealed that Nick got Brittany pregnant right after she had a miscarriage. Um, you weren't aware that she was pregnant? No, but she was aware that I had just had a miscarriage. Mm two weeks prior to her news coming up because mm. he told me that he told her. Um, and I was living at his house and she knew that as well. Um, but I found out on Instagram along with the rest of the world. And wow. Did you feel betrayal at that point? I felt a lot of things, which I won't even relive. Mm. Um, Cause you have to remember, I was going through still her, my hormonal changes and we were about to start in vitro. Mm. So, so were, when I came out, people thought like, oh, I was this home wrecker. No. You, there was a real life going on. I was bullied for months with that whole situation because I was still trying to be nice about it. And like, I didn't break up. We didn't break up right away. We were actually still trying to, you know, work things out. He was with me for my birthday. Like, it wasn't until I went home to New Orleans to visit family where I had to ask myself some heavy duty questions like definitively, Angel, is this something that you feel like you can handle? Can you stay here and deal with this? And the answer ended up being no. During the years Jessica and Nick were together, she made no bones about proclaiming her love for him. He, not so much. Just six months after that, Nick received another bundle of joy times two, when DJ Abby De La Rosa gave birth to twin boys on June 14th, 2021. Yes! Nick is a multifaceted ladies' man. Not only does he date multiple women at the same time, but he also impregnates them at the same time, too. The month of June brought even more family planning news for the Cannons. Ironically, on Father's Day, Wild and Out model Alyssa Scott confirmed, sort of, via her Instagram stories, that she was expecting Nick's seventh child. The photo showed an unidentified shirtless man with his face turned away from the camera. However, the distinctive tattoos that Nick is known to have are clearly visible as both of his hands rest on her protruding belly. She captioned the pic, celebrating you today. That same week, professional photographer Nick Andrew would post more pics of the two during a photo shoot in Hawaii, tag both of them, and in these shots, Nick's face is quite visible. She had previously posted on the platform a baby bump photo, as well as a nude maternity shoot photo in January and May respectively that have both since been deleted. The latter post got the internet all in a tizzy when Alyssa captioned it with the name of her future son, Zen S. Cannon. Naturally, people put two and two together and gathered that Nick must be the baby daddy. Zen S. Cannon made his debut into the world on June 23rd, 2021. The proud parents, however, took their time making the official birth announcement. On July 4th, Alyssa posted a beautiful pic of herself holding her son on Instagram with the caption, I will love you for eternity, 6 There are many, many 
many more notches on Nick Cannon's belt. However, it would take a six-part miniseries to cover them all. Only time will tell whether or not Lucky Number 7 will be the last Cannon Kid. Though knowing Nick, by the time you're watching this video, Number 8 could very well already be on the way. Or Number 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.